So today we're going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the Casper mattress and the Nectar mattress. If you've been looking online for a mattress, I'm sure you've heard of the Casper. They really took the internet mattress world by storm in 2014, 2015. So they were a very popular company. If you're in your car driving, watching TV at home, you've probably seen or heard one of their commercials. Now the Nectar on the other hand is a newer company that launched in 2016 towards the end of the year. Um, but they've been wildly popular and I've had a lot of people asking questions about these two mattresses specifically. So what we really wanted to do is just put them side by side and show you the differences of them and then talk about which one might work best for you. So we'll do a couple tests on each of them and then we'll just talk about how they feel and the construction of each and then the features as far as warranties, trial periods, that kind of thing goes. And then if you guys have any questions on them after that, you can watch the entire full review of each of them on mattressinsiders.com as well as drop me a message below in the comments. I'll be happy to help you guys. So up first, we're gonna discuss briefly the construction of each of these mattresses. If you wanna dig a lot deeper into that, watch the individual reviews of each of these at mattressinsiders.com. But first we'll talk about the Nectar. So on the top cover, this uses a tinsel cotton blend. Now tinsel is a very highly breathable fabric that's gonna allow good airflow. Underneath that is an inch layer of gel infused memory foam that's actually quilted into the cover. Uh, gives it a kind of a nice substantial feel on the top. Followed up by three inches of a 3.5 density memory foam. And then a seven inch foam core that has a 2.2 PCF. So, the industry standard for a lot of the online mattresses, if you do some comparisons, are gonna have a 1.8 to two pound. Where this is 2.2, so this is a little above average for the foam core, which generally translates into longevity, the mattress holding up longer, that kind of thing, and working uh, well for heavier people. So next up, we'll talk about the Casper. So the cover is a polyester cover. Uh, it's nice and stretchy, zips off on the top for uh, easy washing. The top 1.5 inches is a high performance poly foam, followed up by 1.5 inches of a four pound memory foam, followed up by another 1.5 inch layer of a transitional poly foam, and a five inch foam core with a 1.8 PCF density. So between the two, the Nectar is a total of 11 inches thick, and the Casper at 10 inches thick. So how does the construction of each of these translate into how they feel from one another? So the Casper having that 1.5 inch layer of polyfoam on the top, it's gonna to provide a little bit better bounce. And the Nectar having four inches of memory foam and gel memory foam on the top, it's gonna to provide a true memory foam feel with not quite as much bounce, but perhaps a little bit better body hug and body conformance. But for now, we're gonna grab the weight and I'll just drop that on each one to give you a sense of the bounce. First, the Casper. So it's got a good you know, amount of bounce. It's got memory foam underneath, but it's buried an inch and a half down. So I'll drop it from about chest high. Let's see how it bounces. I'll do the same thing here. So you've got a little bit of bounce here, but not quite as much which is expected with memory foam. The quilted cover on this, if you compare it to a memory foam mattress that has just a zip-on cover, the quilted cover, when you lay on it, will give you a little bit more of a holding up feeling versus a sinking feeling when you compare it to a mattress that doesn't have the quilt for a memory foam. So if I get on each of these and just roll, let it sink in, roll and adjust positions. You're gonna see the foam here pops up, takes a little bit longer, just a couple seconds for it to pop up. But I'm not getting a real bad stuck feeling, so it's still easy to roll and adjust positions. If I do the same thing over here, you're gonna see the foam pop up, that top poly layer is gonna pop up a little bit faster than the foam on the Nectar did. So it is a little easier to roll around on this, but for a memory foam, the Nectar does perform well for not giving you a stuck feeling. 
and the Casper does as well. So now I'll just push down on each of these and it'll give you another sense of how fast the foam responds. You can expect the Casper top layer to pop up immediately, the memory foam layer to take a little bit longer, and then the nectar memory foam layers are going to take a little bit longer. You can see, and this is, like I said, it's a little bit faster for the response. But as far as that goes, you shouldn't have a problem adjusting positions on either one of these, but the Casper does make it a little bit easier having that polyfoam on the top. Alright guys, so up next we're actually going to use our pressure mapping device and pressure map each of these mattresses. So what this is going to show us is which of the two has better pressure relief. Now one thing you need to keep in mind, just because one does have better pressure relief than the other, doesn't mean you're going to like that mattress more than the other. Everybody has different preferences when it comes to firmness. Um, and then typically a firmer mattress will perform um, less positively with pressure relief, but some people just like firmer mattresses. So this is just a test for us to show you which one will have better pressure relief between the two. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to like that mattress better than the other. So I'll just show you briefly how this pressure mapper works. If you keep your eye on the tablet here, if, as I push in, you can see my handprints. Um, red, more red indicates worse pressure relief. The lighter the colors, the better, where you see yellows and blues. Um, I'll just lay down on it. Ultimately, when I test these, I'm gonna lay on them each for a few minutes to let the foams really sink in and perform how they would if I were sleeping on the mattress. So we're gonna lay in all three sleeping positions on each one and then I'll actually screenshot the tablet to show you guys side by side the images of how each of them perform. But I'll just lay down real quickly here just to show you, give you an idea of how that looks. If I were to lift my legs and arms and apply more pressure where my butt is, you'll see a lot more red. But once I lay here for a few minutes in a natural sleeping position, I will screenshot them and then we'll put the images side by side to show you which one has uh, better pressure relief. Alright guys, so after pressure mapping each mattress in all three sleeping positions, first we'll take a look at the stomach position on the top of this chart. Um, on the nectar on the left hand side you can see where my hips are, there's more blue and less yellow which indicates better pressure relief. On my chest, you can see I don't really have much red popping up on there. If you look over at the Casper on my stomach, I have more yellow on my hip area. And then on the chest area where my ribs are, you can see a little bit more of that red peeking through there, uh, which indicates not as good a pressure relief as you're seeing on the other image. Up next, sleeping position number two, we were on our back. On the left side in the middle of the nectar, you'll see we had more blues across the board in the back area, hips and uh, thigh area as well, and less red on the tailbone area. If you look over on the right side, the Casper, we had a little bit more yellows in the back area and more reds popping up on the waist and tailbone area. Sleeping position number three on the bottom of this chart. On the left side, you'll see the nectar. We had more blues across the board and less red on the thigh area, knee and rib area. If you look over at the Casper, we had more yellow across the board and more red on the thigh, knee and rib areas. So in conclusion, the Nectar performs better for pressure relief versus the Casper. All right guys, so in an effort to give you as much information here as possible, I also pressure mapped a traditional inner spring mattress from my show floor. That is a medium to medium firm feel. I just wanted to show you that the Nectar and the Casper will both provide better pressure relief than a traditional inner spring mattress with a firm to medium firm feel. As you can see on my stomach, there's a lot more red prominent on the groin and chest and knees area. On my back, there's a lot more red on the legs hips and back area, same thing on the side. You're gonna have a lot more red popping up on the legs, the hips, and the rib area. All right guys, now that we've got the pressure mapping all wrapped up, I just want to go over a couple things again. Just because one pressure maps better than the other doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna like the feel of it better, 
but if you are somebody looking for good pressure relief and you're around 190 pounds, the Nectar will have better pressure relief for you. But you have to also keep in mind, you might like the feel of the Casper more. It's all personal preference, but we wanted to try to add something into our comparisons that nobody else is doing. So hopefully you gained some information that you find valuable from that test. Alright guys, so the next thing we're going to discuss is how each of these mattresses feel as I lay down on them. So I'll just simply lay back and kind of explain to you how it feels to me and uh, what I think is good about it and what I think needs some work. So first on the Casper, right when you lay down you can feel the, the polyfoam layer sinks in immediately and then you can feel it hit, your body hit that memory foam layer and that just takes a couple seconds once you hit it to sink in and conform. But I think this is about a 6.5 to 7 out of 10 with 10 being the firmest. So it's a medium feel but I think toward the firmer side of medium. And it conforms nicely to my body <clears throat> and, and I slept on the mattress and it does work good in all three sleeping positions. I would say if you are a side sleeper 100% of the time you might want to look for something a tad softer. But if you're one of those people that kind of switches it up between all three sleeping positions, uh, it'll work good for you. The other thing with that poly layer on the very top, it is nice and easy to adjust positions and uh, not getting a stuck feeling or anything like that. <clears throat> Next we'll jump on to the Nectar. So when I first lay on this, right on my back, you'll notice the big difference is that top foam layer where here you take a couple more seconds to kind of sink into the mattress being that it's memory foam, gel memory foam and then memory foam where the poly foam on that will be a little bit bouncier on the top layer. But only a couple seconds later and your kind of conforms in. This, uh, you know, the memory foam feel gives you a little bit more of a hug feel this having a quilt on there keeps you from sinking super far in like you can on some memory foam mattresses. So I'm not getting, um, you know, I'm getting that body hugging conformance but not a really bad stuck quicksand feeling at all. And again, it's easy to adjust positions. I mean, it's a little easier on the, the Casper to flip over. But unless you're somebody that has you know, body ailments that makes it extremely hard to roll over and stuff. You shouldn't have an issue with doing that on either of these. So the big difference in feel is going to come from the top comfort layer of each of these mattresses. So as I noted before, the Casper is going to perform a little bit better with bounce, having that poly layer on the top versus a memory foam layer on the top. So if you're somebody that is seeking a mattress that's super easy to move around on, provides you a little bit of bounce, the Casper is going to work a little bit better in that area and if you are somebody that likes that true memory foam feel with a little bit more body hug and conformance the Nectar might work better for you. Alright guys so we'll take a look at a couple other things and recap a couple things as well. So if we take a look at trial periods the Nectar is 365 the Casper is 100 day the warranties lifetime warranty on the Nectar 10 years on the Casper the Nectar comes in at 11 inches thick and the Casper at 10 inches thick. Uh, we'll take a look at the number of inches of premium foams in each of the mattresses. The Nectar offers 4 inches with gel infused memory foam and memory foam. The Casper uses a high performance poly foam and memory foam. And then we'll take a look at price. So the Nectars come in at $6.95 with coupon applied. The Casper is $4.900. Between the two, I think the Casper has better bounce and I think the Nectar has better pressure relief. For cooling, I think they perform about the same. Um, and then uh, the Casper company has been around a little bit longer, so they are more established, but uh, both very popular and growing very quickly. All right, guys, so in conclusion, when you're trying to decide between the Nectar or the Casper, I think what it really comes down to and what you should take most seriously is what type of feel do you personally want? So the Casper is going to provide a little more bounce with that 1.5 inches of poly foam on the top versus the Nectar with the memory foam on the very top. You're going to have a less bounce, but in my opinion and the pressure mapper's opinion, better pressure relief. But if you are somebody that has trouble getting in and out of bed or ready to begin with, 
the Casper might be a better option for you. If you're somebody that's seeking better pressure relief for your joints, the Nectar could be a better option for you. Another side note I would make is if you are 250 pounds or more, I think that the Nectar between the two would be the better option because it is a little bit thicker mattress and then has a more dense foam core in there. But with all that said, they're both uh, quality mattresses. It just really is going to come down to what type of feel you personally want. So hopefully we helped provide you guys with some information that you found helpful today.